Welcome to Daylighting in Loom Tools 2014, Release 4. Daylight illuminance calculations are now possible in Loom Tools. The new daylight capability is accessed by changing the Loom Tools mode to daylighting, similar to the way emergency lighting is handled. Once the daylighting mode is enabled, the Daylight Parameters button becomes visible on the ribbon. Select this button to access the parameters necessary to set up your daylight calculation. The 2014.4 implementation of daylighting is for single scenes, one date, time, and sky condition. Let's step through this dialog to see how it works. If you want to consider the contribution of electric lighting in the calculation, check this box. Otherwise, the software will compute daylight illuminance only. When the electric option is enabled, the daylight parameters icon will show a light bulb superimposed on the sun. Illum Tools will pull the site name, latitude, longitude, and true north orientation from the Revit project location. Let's take a look. Here we are, Santa Fe, New Mexico, latitude and longitude. It also works with the default city list. Okay. Back to Illum Tools. Illum Tools corrects Revit's true north reference angle to world coordinates, which are zero east counterclockwise positive, which is the Illum Tools system. Illum Tools allows you to keep a database of sites in case you want to look into something other than the Revit project location. Let's quickly add one. Click the Add button. Let's try Durango, Colorado. Well, I don't know the latitude or longitude of Durango, Colorado, so let's go to the weather database. I can use the Find Station button, or I can just click on the little ellipsis. Enter Durango. There we see there's a weather station at Durango La Plata County Airport. That's perfect. We can return to the Daylight Parameters dialog with this site selection, or we can reset the site back to the Revit project information with the Reset Site button. Now we're back to Santa Fe, New Mexico. Let's set the date to the September equinox, September 21st, and the time to 3 p.m. We use military time in Illum Tools. Then let's apply Daylight Savings Time. For the sky condition, we want to use the Perez Sky. Click Perez Sky. Notice we have the weather station loaded for the Durango La Plata County Airport site. We need the Santa Fe, New Mexico data. Let's click on the Find Closest button. Now we find Santa Fe County Municipal Airport. That's perfect. That's very close to the latitude and longitude of our location in Santa Fe. Note Santa Fe is misspelled. Lighting analysts obtained all the local weather files from the global database maintained by the U.S. Department of Energy extracted the information relevant to daylighting, and compiled a database for Illum Tools users. This database is a separate download from our website, and must be installed to use the Press Sky. So, short note, this misspelling is not our fault. So, let's look at the irradiance data for 3 p.m. on this date. A high diffuse horizontal number is indicative of an overcast sky, while a high direct normal value indicates a clear sky. Today in the weather file was quite a clear day in Santa Fe, New Mexico. With all the parameters set, we're ready to run a calculation. Let's exit the dialog. Let's compute a single room. This is done in the normal Illum Tools way. The software reminds us that we're in daylight mode. Select the room. Let's watch the daylight component process the illuminance calculation. This is a complete radiosity-based calculation of not just direct sky and sunlight, but light reflected from all room surfaces as well. Electric light is not considered, because we didn't select the checkbox. With the calculation complete, we can see shades or blinds are necessary to mitigate the direct solar penetration. Those shades could be considered as long as they're part of the Revit project file. Going back to Revit, we can view the results in the usual way, with the View Results command. We can see the statistics as a property of the room or the space. 
So let's select our Properties tab. There's our statistics. And we can, of course, build a schedule. We can, at any time, change the mode back to general use and see the electric lighting results. However, be sure and close the Illum Tools visualization viewer before running another calculation in a different mode. This can produce unpredictable results. A caveat. Let's look at the schedules. Lighting results. Currently, Illum Tools is set in general use mode. However, if we change to daylight mode, notice our room schedule now shows daylight results. Same thing would happen with emergency mode. Also note that all glazing elements must be hosted in an exterior wall or roof and the exterior side oriented correctly. We selected that curtain wall. Notice the little arrows are pointing to the exterior side. There's a known limitation to daylighting in Illum Tools 2014.4. This implementation of daylighting cannot consider exterior structural elements, such as light shelves or shades. It also cannot see adjacent structures, such as the building across the street. We're working to conquer this problem, as well as the next logical step of annual simulations. Please stay tuned.